you've said that Elton John was this huge influence on you. Now you're at the point where Elton John, you're calling him up and talking to him. What is it like to be friends with Elton John? I mean, to actually have a friendship with the guy. Well, I'm getting less, less and less nervous, you know. It's like, it's... The thing about Elton John is, like, if he's your hero, like he may be for some of you listening, like, the thing is, he's, like, every single thing that you hope he would be. And that, and that includes great at dirty jokes, you know, like, curses every third word, but, like, he's also really upstanding and moral. He's got a lot of opinions. He's an encyclopedia for music, and he's really uh, empathetic, you know? Mm. He, he feels for other people and he's quick to tears, quick to laughter, quick to all the things that make us alive. And um, man, it's just like, wow, I picked a good one, you know? So when you were searching for a name for your book and he says to you, Brandy, you should call your book Rug Muncher. <laughs> that, uh, was the you most, <laughs> that was the most benign one I could tell you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you didn't get it. Like here you've written this book. You probably said to Elton, hey, I've written this book. And you're having this heavy discussion with him. And, and he says that that's, that's the kind of guy he is, right? I mean, he. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there's a whole song that accompanies it. I don't remember it, but it's, yeah, he is really good fun. He makes me really laugh at myself. He's vile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as a kid, when you first started singing, you entered like an Elton John. You had to dress up as Elton John. All these contests kind of bordered on pageantry. Right. And all these little girls would dress up with their updos and their gowns and their sequins. And they would always do Whitney or Celine and um, or Reba if they were country. Right. And um, I tried it for a while. I did I did all of them, all the Whitney and the Celine things, but I never did the updos or the whole, the dresses or anything. And then, and then one time um, I convinced my mom to let me dress up in like a white suit. Yeah. And do Honky Cat, which yeah. is such an eccentric song, you know, <laughs> for like a 12-year-old, whatever, how old I was to do it. But she made me like big feathered sunglasses out of pipe cleaners and um, and, uh, boat shoes that said E and J on each foot with like sequins wow. and stuff. Yeah. She was very supportive. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was a big moment, actually. 